Mother Nature. I have an excuse. No excuses, Woody. You're way behind in your pecking. I'll be back later to check up on you. Now get pecking, pecking, pecking. Oh, no. I'm 5,000 pickles behind. She'll demote me to a chigger this time for sure. Unless... This here's the Uber Termite, genetically created in my lab for, apparently, for efficiency and ferocity. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I call him Lester. What are you looking at, you red-coated pig farmer? Oh, boy. I'll take him. All right, Lester. Go on out there and put some holes in those trees before Mother Nature gets here. Tch, holes? Holes are for golfers and loser woodpeckers. <laughs> you had better start cooperating, mister, or else. in the trees, not the whole tree gone. Oh, what are you, my father? If he keeps this up, I won't have a forest for Mother Nature to inspect. Lester? Dad? Lester, what are you doing to that nice woodpecker's trees? Uh, he said that I did the holes, the trees with the doctor and the ticket. Oh! <laughs> 6,607, 6,608. Well, it looks like that little woodpecker finally did some work. But you, Mr. Termite, why haven't you met your quota? I... No excuses! Start munching that bark or I'll demote you to a chigger! Now! But I'm... Let's move it, move it, move it! I mean it, you loafer! Please, listen! Get busy! Wait, I'm not who you think! Let me explain! It's... it's Mother Nature! Ah, uh, I'm not here! Oh, yes, you are! You can't fool Mother Nature! <laughs> Mr. Woodpecker, our report shows you are 550,000 pecks behind even the laziest woodpecker. You are being demoted to a pigeon. But I'm a woodpecker. Not anymore. Now you're a pigeon. No! I am a woodpecker! You can't do this to me. Please, Mother Nature. Gotta be promoted back to woodpecker. Do a good job as a pigeon, and you will be eligible for a review in no time. Apparently, we have some competition from these guys, your swallows. They're moving in on our crumb gathering territory. Let's show these swallows what it means to be a pigeon. Step right up, step right up. Free one-way tickets to San Juan Capistrano. Step right up. Free tickets for any bona fide swallows. Move along, move along. No shoving. There's enough seats for everyone. Yeah, why don't we do it? Let's do it now. What's your trick, Woody? Oh, just a crummy little idea. Get it? Crummy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, Woody, you've excelled in every job you were given. I see no reason why I shouldn't promote you back to Woodpecker. Oh, joy. Oh, boy. I love 
my beak. I can't wait to start pecking again. I knew he'd turn out fine. Mother Nature, Mother Nature, I've got it. I've got photos. Woody's been scamming us the whole time. Oh, well, I, well but, but I've already promoted him. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got to do something. Yeah, I know. Turn him into a newt, a stink bug. How about an amoeba? No, I've got a better idea. Yeah. This is the life. It's good to be a woodpecker again. Mother Nature! Why, what a pleasant surprise! I, uh, I was just about to get to work. I've got a lot of trees to peck. Just a second. Listen, Woody, you did so well in the pigeon training squad that I've decided to promote you again. Woo Another promotion. To what? Hawk. Eagle, you're bringing back the pterodactyl. <laughs> Congratulations! You are now in charge of training all woodpeckers. And here's your first student now. Hey, woodpecker. I'm here for six months of training, and I want to get every second of it on tape. Mother Nature, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave me like this. No. That's my good little woodland creatures. Store plenty of food. Mother Nature says it's going to be a long winter. Woody, you should be flying south for the winter. What are you talking, winter? It's 80 degrees. But there's a cold snap coming. Yeah. So wake me when it's winter. Wakey, wakey! Now fly south like you're supposed to! Beavers building dams? Check. Frogs setting lily pads? Check. Woodpeckers wasting their lives? Check. What? How's it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. Ah! Yeah! Your file shows over 3,000 infections in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. Bye. So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. But schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world. There's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With a woodpecker's friend. Ah, <gasps> itch. It's beautiful. What is it? Look at me, Woody. Woodrow, I think this tree's a winner. Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? Yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. <gasps> oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here is a superb sapling. 
Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off. All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. Ha! <sighs> Handle it, Woody. I'm gonna catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm gonna have to stay here forever! I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, shod soda, jackhammers. This is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. It's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody! Woodrow! Here I come! Yay! Mother Nature! Why, Woody, it's... it's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the Academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh, uh -huh. yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. Institute. Yeah! <laughs>